In God's true book, the Bible, Jesus uses pictures to tell us seven great things about himself. They all start with the words, I am. Here is the sixth picture. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father, but the Bible. Jesus uses pictures to tell us seven great things about himself. 
they all start with the words, I am. Here is the sixth picture. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. God is amazing. He made the stars and the planets. He made the world and everything in it, including you and me. God made us to be with him. But because we chose to walk away from him, God's true book tells us it is like being lost. I got lost once. It was really scary. All I wanted was to be back with my dad again. And that's what life is like now. We need to be back with God again. We need to not be lost anymore. Now, I'm going to draw you something. Can you tell me what this is? Any guesses? That's right, it's a map. Sometimes people use maps to get to places. Pirates use it to get to treasure. Weather people use maps to explain the weather, and I use maps when I go out driving. Maps are really important. When Jesus says he is the way, it's like he's saying he is the map. He is the only place we can go to get to God. But what if the map lies? What about if it told me to turn left instead of right? What if my man lied? That would be a really big problem. But Jesus says that he is the man that tells the truth. When someone tells the truth, we can trust them, can't we? That is what Jesus means when he says he is the way and the truth. But what about the life? Imagine that at the end of your map, you were going to find the best treasure, everything you ever wanted. It was going to make you so happy. That is what Jesus means by life. When we say sorry to God, we believe in Jesus and follow him as our king, then we become part of God's amazing family, and that is a family that we get to be with forever. That is good news. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Remember this, you could make your own map, maybe of where you live. Make sure to put some nice treasure at the end of the route to help remind you that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one gets to God except through him. to go with you on this long trip. And then you can keep on if you could take what you take. And I hope you're picking people that you feel good about and that you know love you and that they will be good companions. Well, the story of Jesus is on the way to the end of our lives. As you see on this little map that you've got in your handouts, that we all have a little, we have a path to go, and along that path we have some choices, and some of those choices will be good for us, 
and for other people. And some choices might bring a lot of pain and trouble. And so Jesus is the one who gives us a way to follow the truth and to know what is good, what is good for us and what is good for the people around us that Jesus would approve and he will keep you out of trouble if you ask him, should I go this direction or that direction? And if you pray and ask for help, he will answer you one way or another. Sometimes there is no direct answer. So maybe he is saying, I think you have enough information. You know what I would choose for you. And now you go ahead and make that choice. Because the older you get, the more choices you'll have. And some of them are pretty big choices. And some of you start to make those choices now. And the older you get, there will be more of them. Like, where do you, what do you want to do after you finish high school? A long ways off. It's well, not. I don't think for Savannah. Savannah is for Savannah. 15 in Savannah. 14, 15. Yeah. What See? grade are you in now? 10th. Huh? 10th. 10th. So she's only got two more years yep. before she makes that choice of what she's going to do after high school. So, Savannah, now Martha was asking to all of us, who would you take with you on a trip? Now, you are in the 10th grade, right? So, who would you take with you or listen to to walk with to another direction in your, on the way on your school? Adventure. Somebody in your family. Somebody in your family. Somebody. Your, somebody, your, somebody, 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 somebody. Yeah. Uh, probably your best friend. Your best, best friend. friend. See? That's good. So yeah. you can say that you have a way with that best friend to go with, right? So it's not that you're alone. See? Exactly. That is what Martha was asking. Who would you take with you? I was thinking when I was standing there, I would take my cat with me. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's very interesting how a cat really reacts. We have a boy at home. A boy cat. It's almost like a little dog. He's always so close to me that I'm almost falling over him. And so he is probably the way that trusts me so much that he will follow me everywhere. So I think she, she to you and you to her probably are, you know, stuck like two movies together to say, we're going to make it and we're going to make everything what we can work out for our future, right? So this is offering us to yeah. see the, the way, the truth, and the life, which is not always easy to follow. Yes? Hi, sir. Come in. Because um, they're going to be practicing how they're going to be entering, or? Savannah or both of them? Both of them. Okay, you need to go. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry, I didn't know that's what we're going to be doing. We love this party here. So we have been dropping on class a little bit because these two young ladies have to go for practicing what the mask will be there very soon. Thank you. So we're missing. So we'll see them next week then, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. Thank so you. I'm going to change my view. Thank you, girls. Yeah. Okay. So that makes it a little small today, right? So, <laughs> what are you in? Yeah. All okay? Fourth grade. Yeah. I remember the fourth grade very well. Yeah. It was a long time ago. But it was an important year because it's like you now are moving up with the bigger kids. You're not with the little squirts anymore, the kindergartners and first and second graders. So how old are you? Nine. Nine. And you what grade are nine. you in? Two niners. Niners. What grade are you in? Fourth. fourth. They're both fourth graders. Yes. Yeah. So that's two more grades to go before you go a step higher, right? In yeah. Junior high school then? 
Well, it depends on the district. Some of them break out of the sixth grade. Some of them break yeah, out. Yeah, so different. look and what the guy was drawing in the video. You see this, how it really goes? It's not really a way, yeah. It's not really a way that goes on top of it. This is more like, you see it like this, if you do the perspective in drawing. But here you see really and there are choice, choices. Choices. Choices to make. Am I right? All along the way, there are choices to make. Will I be kind? Will I be helpful? Yeah. Will I get mad and throw a fit? Will I go off and sulk and cry? Yeah. Will I find somebody that I can help? Because on your both ways, you will meet people that you don't like. That happens to all that of us. That happens to all of us. Even if you have the nicest person ever born on this world, you gonna meet enemies. You gonna meet people that you don't like. You may be gonna fight with people that you don't like because there is a disagreement. And so Jesus is the one that said, I, and I and I am the way, the truth, and the life. For Martha, it's like, I'm always standing behind the camera, right? right? And just like a photographer. Yeah. Just behind the camera, but you don't see him in the picture. Right. So right. this is the way that Jesus really wants to go with us. He is always with us because why? He died on the cross, but didn't stay there. He resurrected. And that is our time of Easter. So you and you, you two young guys, having the possibility to grow up with Jesus who loves you dearly. So if you are sometimes a photographer, you will see that you're not in the picture. But he did something that makes it a mark to that family. Exactly. And so it is exactly with Jesus. He takes the picture of your life and he follows you. He follows you everywhere, even if you don't see him. That's the bad thing, right? Not that if you, you make a mistake, he'll show you the yes. right out. See, we make mistakes, and mistakes help us to see in not doing it anymore. So this is why Jesus is saying, I am the way. Look at me what you're doing. And Thomas, you know, he doubted as he was doubting always. Yeah. He doubted. You died, and now suddenly you're back, and now you're truly the Father. Because you say, if you look at me, you see the father. Ha, come on, this is all more difficult than mathematics, right? Yes, it is. So you're never going to understand it. But we do in a way understand it because Jesus loves us. And he is And we way. understand more as we get older. Yeah. You start now and you get the basics. Yeah. And you go to your first communion. And then you study for confirmation and you learn a little more. And when you get confirmed, we consider you an adult in the church. Yeah. So you're going to do both your first communion? Okay. And then after that, you're coming back to class for the confirmation class. That's a little later. When are you going to do your confirmation? That would be more like 12 or 13. Yeah. You so that's a couple of years in between. Except if you have a desire to do that. So that could Some be kids do it early. Yeah. But so there's a lot here, and I love the video because it was, you know, now we use the GPS, right? Yeah. And to figure that out in the beginning, the GPS in the car was like craziness all the time because we, <laughs> we lose track. We are so used to <coughs> paper maps, right? And then suddenly it, it was a touch screen. <coughs> we touch the screen. And there you go. And so it's like Jesus is touching us. Shows you the way. Jesus is touching us too and saying that oh, this is the way. And then he still allows you to choose your own way. He allows you to make mistakes. Yeah. So that you will learn from those mistakes. So. Because we all do make them. So are we going to do prayer? We should gather our prayers because we are two, just the two kids. We say our Father, the Hail Mary, and go and eat. And that's the end of the class. And come on. Right. To my Okay. Beautiful girl. And so handsome girl. Okay. We do our Father. And I want to hear you because they listen. Okay. Our Father. Who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be. 
will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And this is not the temptation, but the Lord, who will praise the Lord is with thee. Blessed thou thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Lord of God, pray for our sins, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. See you next week, okay? Take your papers and show yeah. them to mom and dad. And take it. your your uh, chips or your cookies or your okay. cakes. So bye-bye world. Bye. bye. See you bye, next everybody. week. Bye-bye. Love you guys. Help yourselves to the goodies. So, so, so the word precious seeds of faith Some that fall along the path are quickly snatched away So, so, so the word